Hi, this is uh, Timothy Dolan again, uh, moving on to part two of my analysis of the movie Brazil by Terry Gilliam, uh, its director, and uh, uh, its a uh, screenplay uh, writer, I believe. Anyway, uh, I was very influenced, as I mentioned before, uh, by the movie Brazil, which was Terry Gilliam's first feature-length motion picture which most Americans didn't get, didn't get a great broad acceptance in the United States. Uh, it did very well worldwide because uh, many people, many moviegoers internationally got the premise, which is a, an implicit critique of the bureaucratic state. And uh, we're going to see in this next clip a perfect example of this, where you have, uh, to quote Nietzsche, um, paraphrase Nietzsche, the insanity that one often sees in institutions, relatively rare in individuals, relatively common in institutions. Uh, in this case, it's the bureaucratic procedure that uh, accompanies a police action uh, against an innocent person. Again, it's a bureaucratic mistake. And then uh, an administrative procedure that is blind uh, to the human cost of their actions. I think it's a fairly self-explanatory and it's a perfect uh, vignette for understanding the bureaucratic state. So without too much further commentary on my part, this is the arrest scene of Mr. Uh, Buttle, mistaken for Mr. Tuttle. And uh, rightly so, working class Joe, apparently, and uh, now incarcerated by uh, the state. Without telling us. Mrs. Bottle, are you alright? Yeah. 